Project Enable is a supported internship programme for young people with a learning disability. It is a partnership between CUMTAF Health Board, Elite Supported Employment Agency and the NHS Centre for Equality and Human Rights. The overall aim of the project is to give young people with learning disabilities the opportunity to develop skills and the experience to compete for paid employment either with the host employer or elsewhere. The interns work as members of staff supported by a job coach. The job coach gives just the level of support needed to build the confidence of the interns to work independently. Four young catering students, Owen, Emily, Daniel and James, were identified by Elite as potential interns to work within the catering department at the Royal Glamorgan Hospital in Llantrisant. The students attended a recruitment day to meet the catering manager, Steve Barnard, and his catering team. There was an opportunity for everyone to ask questions and to visit different parts of the catering department, including the restaurant and coffee shop, the kitchen and the ward-based catering service. Over a period of six months, the interns would have the opportunity to work in the different areas of the catering department, learning new tasks at a pace that was designed to support their individual development needs. Hi, I'm James. I've enjoyed everything to be honest. Really enjoyed serving the food, working on the tills and restocking the fridges and everything. Um, gained new friends and I've never worked on a till before and that's a good skill to have. The staff are all really friendly. They're always happy to help and always up for a chat. Um, working with customers have been really good. They all seem all right and really friendly. I'd really like a part-time job working here and I'd really like to work in the restaurant that I've been working in because it's all been really fun, good experience. I have enjoyed the placement. Uh, all the people here are quite friendly and uh, and you and uh, and you and they give you proper out, proper working hours. I've gained uh, some uh, a lot of experiences in in, hos in hospitality and industry and that sort of thing and uh, and also, it could it could also look well on my uh, CV and that sort of thing. If I ever if I don't get a job here, and I can look for somewhere else. Well, uh, my experience working customers, uh, it's not that quite difficult as it as it seems because uh, if you because I'm I'm used to working with people and seeing people watch people watching me and that sort of thing because uh, because I'm try I'm tra I'm trained to be a bodybuilder and I'm also a musician. And I'm also learning to act doing acting as well. I. I'd like to, I'd like to get get a job get a job job here personally, and that's hopefully a better position and a, and it's and a, with better better working hours with good pay. Well, there's two reasons I can think of. Firstly, it's because it gives you a it can look well in your CV and and also you know what to do in case of an inter, in case you got another interview in hospitality. Well, I think about disabled people that that that. That uh, pe too many people stereo stereotype, but, um, and the thing is, you they, they'll probably the reason they'll, they'll probably not they'll probably give it give a job to someone else another job to someone else because they're not disabled. And, and I, I think we sh I think I think it should be I think uh, I think a, a person with disabilities can do it well just as bad as anyone else. Uh, it's, I think I think about getting the job all the time every every time I sleep. Yeah, so yeah, it is very important. So Daniel, what jobs have you been doing at the hospital? What sort of tasks? Crisp cereal and chocolate. Do doing what with the crisp cereal and chocolate? Stacking them up. Stacking them up? Awesome. And why do you have to do that? For the customers. Yeah, okay. So what else have you been doing? Dishwasher. Dishwasher, and what do you do with Gemma? 
Yeah. We've done loads and loads. Chopping. Chopping, yeah. You've chopped all sorts, haven't you? Yes. So of all those different tasks, which one's your favourite? Chopping. Chopping. You like doing the food preparation? Yeah, really enjoy that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, how have you found the staff here at the hospital? What have they been like? They're all right. They're all right, yeah. And have they been helpful? Yeah. What do you think about the idea of having a paid job? That would be easy. Yeah, be easy. Because you know it all now, don't you? You've learnt it all. Do you, would you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, you think having like your own independence and you know, would you be happy coming in every day getting paid or do you think that would really suck what do you think <laughs> come in every day you'd come in every day and you'd like to come in every day you'd work now if you could wouldn't you uh, just me i know you would yeah <laughs> what's been your favorite thing about working in the hospital um i like it you like it yeah if you liked it all i like the staff kirsty kirsty and what have you done with kirsty what sort of work Boys. Can you tell me about that? Wards in Tiertons. Yeah. What do you do on the wards? Toy, tea and coffee. Yeah. And then do you make them? Yeah. So what have you got to ask the, uh, the patients? Um, tea and coffee. And? Food. And then what do you do to go get the food? Um, make it. Yeah, down in the fridges? Yeah. And up to the ovens? Yeah. Brilliant. So is the wards your favourite part? Yeah. Yeah, what else do you like doing? Seven. Serve it? Seven. A ward seven? Yeah. Yeah, that's your favourite ward. Yeah. And the children's ward? Yeah. Yeah, and what do you think about the patients? Um, love it. Yeah? And what yeah. do you think the patients think of you? Yeah. Yeah, they like you, don't they? Like me. Definitely. So you've enjoyed working here? Yeah. Yeah? But have we made you work hard? You do. Yeah, I do, don't I? Yeah. Yeah? So what do you think you've learnt? I learned to um, listen. Learned to listen? Yeah. Yeah? What else? Um, skills. Yeah. Like your listening skills. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have, because if you don't listen, you don't know what you're going to do for the day. Yeah. If you could use one word now to say whether it's been good or bad or boring. Good. Or good. Yeah. Yeah, really good or just okay good? Good. Um, I think the project has been a success for several reasons. I think um, top of my list would be the staff at Royal Glam. They've been incredible. Uh, they've been very supportive, but not too supportive. They haven't um, helped when there wasn't any need, but they've, they've put the right level of support in for us. Um, they've been very welcoming and patient. Um, and that's throughout the catering team from the bosses all the way through. Um, I also think that we've had a lot of support from the families of the interns. Um, all the parents have been very keen. They've made sure, you know, that, that everything's been in place at home, and then that, you know, they've they've been very encouraging. Uh, the interns themselves have been just awesome, really up for it, and enthusiastic every week. One of the ways that Elite is quite unique with our training and support is that we provide one-to-one -one training uh, in the workplace. We have a job trainer that will provide um, training to that person at a level they need. It's very important for us to make sure we empower the person that we are job training. And our job trainers um, are trained in training and systematic instruction to ensure that the training we are providing is at a right level and therefore not providing too much help or obviously providing as, as much help as they need. That enables us to, to make sure that they are able to do the job as independently as they can and then lead to then them being independent in the workplace and allowing us to withdraw them. You know, they're more than up to do the job, you know, that's for sure. You know, it's been, the process for me had to be, the end result had to be that, we, that they could be employed. Uh, so we very carefully sort of, um, the progress that they made, the, the progress that they made had to be staged and it had to be at their pace that they could cope with. And I think they've done that, and, and I'm, I'm more than happy with the end result. You know, the interns are really warm to the job. And, um, yeah, they've worked right through the catering department. They start off with very sort of menial, menial tasks, um, which they very soon mastered. And then um, they've gone on to, to do, you know, a job for us, which was important. You know, that they, they weren't just being carried along. Um, they have done a job and, and they can be left alone now to get on with that job and do the job. 
Um, yeah, so I'd really like to employ one or more, more if we can at the end of it, you know. It's been a worthwhile experience, not just um, for, for the candidates or the interns, it's been very worthwhile for our staff, you know, to work alongside people with learning difficulties. Um, and, and they've grown, our own staff have gained from this, but you know, absolutely they've gained from it and um, I'd welcome doing it again, that's for sure. I would say that this kind of project is vital to the well-being of people with learning disabilities. For all too long, people with learning disabilities have been stuck into day centres if they're lucky. Um, given, given titles such as trainees on the emphasis that this is an organisation that will get them a job, and in actual fact never been empowered, never been given uh, any, any skills to move on and develop, they'll be making bird boxes or doing gardening in this day centre and if they leave they'll be doing making bird boxes and doing gardening in another day centre there was never any thought into progressing or developing that person or the only reason was a trainees were used and talk about moving somebody on uh, into a workplace was because it looked good for the rhetoric of organisations selling services and again we had a situation where people would go to day services for the sake of doing something and for the sake of doing something um, people had to almost sacrifice their lives, sacrifice their own independence, sacrifice their quality of life to justify organisations interests financially in keeping going. What we never ever look to do is progress that person, get them into the workplace for the quality of life purposes. If you don't have a meaningful position in life or a meaning and place to go, life is very humdrum and you're doing things for the sake of doing it. And I think this is why a project like this is so important because we're not only developing people, making them more independent, it's about increasing a person's quality of life. The key thing about our project in Wales is that we wanted to run it as a pilot so that we could share the learning and share the stories and um, we really see the benefit because it contributes to the whole of the wellbeing agenda in Wales, the health prevention agenda. This project is really important because we all know that um, having employment, uh, accessing employment and sustaining employment is really critical to somebody's wellbeing. It helps prevent isolation, it helps give people confidence, it helps people remain independent at home, um, it helps people to build relationships with different peer groups and contributes overall to people's health, well-being, sense of worth. We're also interested because the Welsh Government, um, as part of its strategic equality plan, has a specific objective around supporting young people who are not in employment, education and training. And again, you know, we know that people with learning disabilities um, are overrepresented in that group and therefore we felt that this particular project um, would help young people to gain employment. The healthcare sector, the NHS in Wales, we are the largest employer in Wales um, and as an organisation that is the largest employer and can offer these opportunities and as an organisation then who's committed to improving health and wellbeing and tackling illness then we have a clear role to play um, and if we don't do that then we're going to be failing young people for years to come. As far as we were concerned the project has been a really very very good success. Not only have we seen the interns develop both in, ter in terms of skills and personality, our own staff at the same time have developed with them in their knowledge and understanding of how people with learning difficulties can be developed to undertake meaningful roles within a hospital environment. We hope in future to be able to develop this partnership with the NHS Centre for Human, Equality and Human Rights and with Elite to offer more internships for the future and will commend every other health organisation within Wales to, and to participate in a similar project as we have done.